This video is brought to you by Power Performance Products, where you can get $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects. Spencer Lazara, MMA Interviews, alongside President Sugar Ray Cepho of the MMA World Series. Great event tonight. You must be elated with the results. Uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, I couldn't ask for a better start. Um, the, fight, the, the crowd came and attended. Um, the fighters came and showcased their skills. We had knockouts, we had submissions, we had controversial decisions. Um, it all became reality tonight, you know what I mean? It's two years in the making and, um, you know, obviously there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of learning and this is our first show and we're going to, you know, sit back and look at what we can do better and, uh, and keep moving forward slowly. So when is the next show you're looking for? Uh, January, possibly? Yeah, we're looking at you know the end of January, but you know there's nothing confirmed. You know we may change that date. Uh, it could be February, so we're not sure yet. What yeah. numbers would you be happy with for the ratings tonight? I, I I don't know. I couldn't really tell you, but if we could get a million uh, viewers or two million viewers, uh, you know I'm happy. What can you tell us about the TV deal? I understand it was a one-fight deal, so you looking to extend that with NBC Sports Network? Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like you know, it, it wasn't a one-fight deal, so to, so to speak. It was, uh, it, it was one of these things where we're going to now sit down and discuss see where we go from here and uh, the future of where's this fighting and NBC Sports. Obviously, we want to make sure that future uh, stays forever. And um, but we can't, you know. I want to thank NBC Sports for, you know. For, doing such a great job not only supporting what we do and um, also in season entertainment boost mobile insignia I mean there's so many people to thank you know our team um, from the the website guys to the game guys to the PR people the publicists um, the commentators everybody you guys the media I mean you know uh, you know when I sit back and I think about it um, Everything has to blend together like this, and I think we're all in, the, in one relationship, you know what I mean? And so uh, there's so many people. That the fans, man, you guys have been nothing but amazing. So I thank you so much uh, for all the love and support since, since the day we said that this is going to happen. Um, thank you so much. My heart goes out to all of you guys, and many blessings to you guys. Have you thought about whether you're going to continue with this format or you're going to move to sort of a tournament format, which you had originally sort of planned? Um, yes, uh, obviously, I mean, for us, we, we definitely want to do a tournament uh, format at some stage. Uh, right now, it, you know, it probably won't happen in the first three events, uh, but, you know, things can change overnight, and so we want to take our time with it and, and eventually, you know, do things right. And uh, again, like, you know, I, I've said this from the start, um, you know, you got to crawl before you run, and that's what we're doing. We're moving forward slowly. And UFC, thank you so much for uh, attending. A lot of you, a lot of the UFC people were here today, uh, the UFC superstars. So, you know, um, nothing but love for them, and because they show us love as well. And so, uh, you know, uh, Lorenzo, Dana White, Joe Silva, and the, the Gannon UFC, keep doing what you're doing because you guys are an inspiration for us, and uh, we got nothing but love for you guys. Thank you. Um, have you? Thought about introducing any belts? Is that something that might happen? Soon? Yeah, absolutely. That, that's. Um, I think we were in discussions in the past few weeks. Uh, that probably won't happen until the third or the fourth event, uh, where we would like to crown a champion. And um, of course, that's really important, not only for the fighter, but for us, but also for the young talent that uh, have somebody to look up to. You know what I mean? And so that's that definitely will happen. Uh, Tyson Nam looks like will be, is he signed? And that looks like a match that's going to be made. 100%. He's definitely signed, and that match is going to be made uh, for the next event. Yeah, so that's going to be a great fight. I agree. I was very impressed with Moraes tonight. Uh, so was I. I mean, uh, I, I, I said then, I was like, wow, this, you know, for a second I thought he was a kickboxer. You know what I mean? But uh, I was really impressed with what he did tonight, and um, I can't wait to see him again. And when I jumped in the in the cage, he's like, I'm a huge fan. I'm like, I just became a fan. You know what I mean? So I love it. He was His energy was, was great after. Uh, great energy. He looked really composed. Um, I mean, you know, Miguel Torres is, is a beast. You know, he's always a warrior, and um, he showed that tonight as well. Where, I mean, you know, he got hit with some solid shots, and uh, he just kept coming back. So, great fight, and I can't thank the guys enough. Are there any other matchups or guys signed that you would you can tell us about that you want to make going forward? No, you know, right now we're going to sit down with, uh, um, you know, matchmaker Ali Abdelouis, uh, you know, and uh, discuss, 
you know, uh, who in this event, I mean, there's a lot of guys I think is going to make, the, you know, uh, one of the things I did say to uh, Josh Berkman was that I promised him that he was going to be in, in the main card next time, and that's definitely going to happen. Josh, 100%, you're going to be in the, the main card for sure. Okay, and then finally some time off for you, I guess. I'm sure you're going to be going, though, up to Montreal here in about a week and a half, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, there's no rest for the wicked, right? Um, <laughs> I get tomorrow off. I get to spend it with uh, my my wife and my son, and and then Monday I'm I'm back in the gym training Martin and myself and and some of the boys. So, you know, I love my life. Martial arts is my life. I live it, dream it, sleep it, eat it. You know what I mean? So I love it. And again, it's you know I can't thank you guys enough. The media as well. So uh, to everybody, man, nothing but love. Thank you so much. Last question: What are the chances we're going to see you fighting in the next show? I'm kind of hoping it'll be uh, January, the next card. Uh, I said to Ali, um, brother, you're going to make that happen. So there's in discussions right now with certain people, and uh, let's see, let's make that happen. I, I can't wait because uh, now that th this is over, I, um, I'm going to start wrestling again next week and um, get, you know, get my ground game into par again. So You're not going to let me drop that bomb on who that might be, huh? Yeah, um, it's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> you know I can't tell you that right Fine, now. I'm with you. You know, you know I'm always respecting that. Well, uh, congratulations, Ray Sefo. Impressive you. performance here, MMA World Series. I'm Spencer Lazar. You're watching MMA Interviews.